Hey, what's up guys? Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix the no service or searching dot 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 on your iPhone 3GS. It's if you update it to iOS 6 and as soon as you did that your phone won't pick up service and even if there's no SIM card in the phone it still says searching dot dot dot. It says ICCID unknown and you don't know how to fix it. This is going to show you what to do. Make sure to follow every step in this guide correctly. Don't skip anything. First thing is to go get your iPhone and plug it into your computer with the USB cable. Then go and remove your SIM card. Make sure there is no SIM card in this phone if you want to activate it. So just remove it. And download these two things. One is Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 2 and the other is the 6.0 IPSW for your iPhone. Links to both of these are in the video description so look underneath it and you'll find uh, both the links. So once it's downloaded open up Red Snow and go to the Extras tab. Let me move this camera up for you. Alright so once you do that hit select IPSW then click on the 6.0 for more file. It'll say iPhone 2 comma 1 6.0 blah blah blah. Just hit open. Then it's going to say it has been successfully identified, hit OK. It's going to ask you if you have a new boot ROM or old boot ROM. Figure that out, what you're going to do is remove the SIM tray from your iPhone. And right here, you'll see a serial number, it might not focus very well. But on one side it'll have the IMEI and then the other side it'll have the serial number. So what you're going to do is follow the instructions to do that and then select what you need to select. I'm going to hit yes since I have a new boot ROM. And then what you're going to do after you figure that out is hit back and then hit jailbreak. Then what you're going to do is you're going to see these options. Select install Cydia and install iPad baseband. And it's going to ask you are you sure you want to do this. So once again confirm that your iPhone can do this. If you had an unlocked iPhone 3GS and then when you updated it stopped working then you should be able to do this. So once you do that, just hit next and it's going to tell you to put your iPhone into DFU mode. A good thing about the new Red Snow is it teach, it tells you what you know baseband and version your iPhone is on. So it'll say connected iPhone 6.0 and it says BB 6.15. So that means I have the 6.15 baseband but the thing is right now it just needs to be reflashed. So that's what we're going to do. So once you're at the screen, turn off your iPhone. and wait for it to turn off. As soon as it's off, it's going to let you go next and what you're going to do is put your iPhone into DFU mode. So follow this very carefully. Hold the power button and you're going to see the Apple logo come on. After about two seconds, like hold both the home and the power button and what you're going to do is keep holding it five seconds afterwards until it turns off. So that's about five seconds. Release the power button, continue holding the home button. Don't worry, timing doesn't have to be exact. Alright, so it's going to move. As soon as you see this move, you can let go. And Red Snow is going to start the jailbreak and fix. I'm going to set the iPhone right here so you can see what's going on. Leave your iPhone alone. I'll be back once everything is done. This does take about 5 to 10 minutes tops. Okay, you're going to see the screen that says moving applications. Don't worry, this takes quite some time. So don't panic if it takes like more than five minutes. Just be patient. Everything will go through and next thing you know, you'll see it saying installing iPad baseband. Just give it some time. I'll tell you what to do from there. There's just a few more steps, but those are really easy. You're done with the hard stuff. Okay, so this is the next step that takes quite some time. As you could tell, the other step where it was moving applications and all that, that took a good five minutes. This is going to take a little bit less than that, like four minutes. But it's, uh, it's moderate time, so just let your iPhone uh, sit for a few minutes and I'll tell you what to do from there, so don't worry, be patient. Okay, now that your iPhone is up and running, just go to Settings, General, About, and you'll see that you have the 6.15.00 baseband. Once you check that, just go back to Red Snow because you'll notice that you don't have any sort of Cydia running. What you need to do is go to the Extras tab and then what you're going to do is just boot Tethered now. Put your iPhone in DFU mode again like we did before. So start by powering off your iPhone. 
and we're going to put it in DFU mode once again. Okay, now that the iPhone is off, just go to where it says next and put it in DFU mode. Start by holding the power button, then hold both the power and the home button. The Apple logo is going to go away. Keep holding it for 5 seconds afterwards. After about 5 seconds, you can release the power button, but keep holding down the home button. Don't worry, timing doesn't have to be exact, uh, like I said before, just as long as you get it around 5 seconds. Once that moves, you can let go of the home button and just let it finish this process. Alright, you're going to see this little pineapple on your iPhone. Just let it uh, boot up. I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, now that the iPhone is back up, you'll see that there's a city icon. So what you're going to do is you're done from Red Snow for now. So what you're going to do is open up Cydia. Select the user. And let it install all the packages. I'll be back once all the packages are installed. And I'll t tell you what to download from there. Okay, so once your iPhone is back and up and tethered, what you're going to do is go into Cydia and you're going to let the packages download. I already did that, so mine's is already done. But just wait for uh, Cydia to reload everything. It'll show you your SHSH files, so just be sure to remember those. In the future, you might need them. But what you're going to do is go to the Manage tab. Then go to the sources and then select edit, add, and what you're going to do is you're going to add this repo. Don't hit cancel, I'm only hitting cancel because I already added it. So it's repo.iparelhos.com. Once you hit that, hit OK, let it download all the packages. You're going to go into search, search for ultra snow. And then you're just going to hit install. Mine says remove because it's already installed, but you're going to install Ultra Snow. Then what you're going to do is go to Ultra Snow Fixer. After Ultra Snow is already installed, you're going to go for Ultra Snow Fixer and install that as well. Once you do that, your iPhone is unlocked. Just put any SIM card in there and it'll work. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm going to be making the activation video for those of you guys waiting on that soon. Uh, this was kind of urgent, so I hope you guys like it. Thank you.